it looks like a bit of Christmas decoration has found its way to the bottom of the ocean. But wait, the tinsel has come to life, and it looks like an alien with slimy teeth. Say hello to your Christmas nightmare, the Antarctic scale worm. It's been waiting under the polar ice caps on the Antarctic Ocean floor, and it's time for it to feast. What is that hypnotic tinsel-like stuff? Should you be worried about these alien-looking teeth? I'm worried. How could these fascinating worms be saving the oceans? Stay close as we bring you everything there is to know about this shiny critter. About 8,000 known species of scale worms, or polychaetes, live in an incredible variety of ocean habitats, from shallow tide pools to volcanic hydrothermal vent chimneys. They can be as small as your thumbnail or as long as two meters. And scale worms come in every color you can think of. But the Antarctic scale worm is among the newer varieties discovered. These scale worms' oval-shaped bodies are flat and covered in, you guessed it, scales. Surrounding this scaly body is a trimming of shiny golden bristles. And these worms can grow to 20 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide. The more tinsel, the better, I'd say. But there is the scary-looking alien jaw at one end of that shiny body. But we'll get to that in a bit. The golden bristles are spine-like, and they feel hard where they emerge from the scale. But they soften into a hair-like texture towards the tip. They're called parapedia, and the scale worm uses them for swimming and crawling along the ocean floor. The bristles move like hundreds of tiny paddles in water as the worm expands and contracts its body to move. It's like the way centipedes move on land. Scientists are still learning about the Antarctic scale worm, but if it's anything like its cousins, its shiny bristles could help it breathe. It might even use its flamboyant trimmings to produce venom to defend itself from predators. But who needs a sideshow of poison bristles when you've got a nasty mouth like that? Like all good horror shows, there's an element of surprise here. When it's not feeding, the Antarctic scale worm's jaw looks like a sucking mouth part. It's alarming, but nah, we've seen worse. But then it gets ready to feed, and its toothy part extends out of its body by about five centimeters. <sighs> and once the meal is over, it folds right back into its body and remains hidden until it's snack time again. Oh, and that's not its head that the jaw is on. That's its throat. Antarctic scale worms live at depths of more than 1,640 feet. And unless you're a smaller ocean floor dwelling creature, they won't be coming to feed on you. Like many predators, scale worms like this dazzler provide critical services to their ecosystem. They are avid recyclers and expert builders and the reef structures scale worms create are home to crabs, snails, and other worms. The Antarctic scale worm looks scary, but it's a lot nicer than its cousin, the bobbit worm. And we've got the story on this evil cousin in another episode of Crazy Creatures. Having shiny bristles and terrifying retractable jaws is what Antarctic scale worms do. And that's why they are crazy creatures.